I'm going to be showing you the exact trade setups on Bitcoin that we have going into the weekend and the start of next week. I'm going to be giving you so much honesty and transparency in this video. As always, I'm going to be talking you through the last few trades that I've taken, which include some losses. We are going to be showing you how with only a 50% win rate, we can still be walking away with absolute amazing profits. So if that sounds interesting to you, you know, as always, I've got the goods to back it up. I'm going to be giving you the best education, the best insights and knowledge into the charts and giving you all a very big smile and positivity as we approach this technical analysis on Bitcoin. Once again, it's going to be a good one. <laughs> That you can hold my word. It's going to be a good one. So I'm going to pick up where I left off my last YouTube video, which was on Monday. I'm going to be talking you through the price action of the week in a very, you know, educational manner. So you can fully understand how I took those trades, how you can implement those same theories and ideas in your next trades. And then we're going to be moving on to what is happening right now. Why are we bouncing from here? What is the context behind this? What are the targets that we have over the weekend and next week? I'm going to be giving you all of that information in this video. So without further said or do, let's get straight into what you're here for, what you love. That is trading, that is profits, and that is Bitcoin. So of course, we had my last video where I was telling you, well, do not short Bitcoin. Do not short Bitcoin yet. Why was that? If you cast your mind back, we had just formed this high. So we were actually looking at the charts like this. I was telling you, well, do not short Bitcoin here at 28K. Why? Because we had just formed actually a swing failure pattern back from the high at the end of August. One month later, we have now swing failure pattern that high. So I, as a trader, love to trade swing failure patterns. So why was I telling you, well, do not short this? And it's like I was, I was explaining here around six minutes, seven minutes, right? Everybody that trades SFPs, this is a very easy, simple setup. You enter out of the SFP, you place your stop loss above the high, and then you target down. Me, with the knowledge behind this, I also love to think like a market maker. And so with that market maker theory, I'm thinking to myself, what is actually going to you know, generate the most liquidity here. And actually I'm thinking it's take that high once more. So everybody entering with their short now and stop loss above the high. Well, you know what? What I would love is let's take that high one more time. Let's take that high, stop out all those early shorts and then get the decline in price. Of course, if I had made that call to you all, which I did, and price from here had just dropped full on down, I would have had to come in here and hold my hands up high and said, I'm sorry, I, I made an incorrect call there. I misread the chart. I misread that and, you know, I got it wrong. Thankfully, I did get it correct and we did go on to make a new high. We hit that naked point of control. That naked control, naked point of control gave a valid short trade entry. So you could be entering then after taking that high, those short trades around $28,000. You have your entry, your stop loss above the high, and you can aim to bring it back down. So how did that actually result in a losing trade for myself? Well, first of all, I had two trade setups ideas. The first one was an SFP of that high, so a swing failure pattern over the swing failure pattern. The second idea was reject from the naked point of control. And we did actually get a secondary SFP here. You can see very easily on the chart here. And I actually took a short trade and held it for a few hours uh, before recognizing, you know, it seems likely we're going to push up once more. I actually held on and I got stopped out on that first short trade. So I actually lost the first short that I took here. And this is how you can see, uh, you know, we remained patient I, after I got stopped out of that short. You know, I remained patient, not in any short trades for the next few hours. I was not in a short after taking that first short, getting stopped out. I think I even wrote that to my team, right? Yeah. So, yeah, here we go. Out of the short trade that I took on Bitcoin first for a small loss because there were too many conflicting signs. We're going to remain looking for higher. OK, that was well weird. Still trading below the NPOC. So I took my first short, got, you know, closed out of it because it looked like we were going to push on higher to the NPOC. And then. Remained in those shorts as I'm waiting for higher into New York Open and then into New York Open. Right here, you can see within half an hour into New York Open, we get that then final move up to the naked point of control. Then that is the second valid short trade entry. OK, I'll show you some real nice confluence that we had on this. This is going to blow your mind if you like trading as much as I do. So look at this. OK, so on that naked point of control, remember we had the NPOC. We had that marked out. We were ready and waiting for that naked point of control. On top of that, look at this. We have a lovely Fibonacci extension taken from the low down here around the 11th of September, up to then that high, 
back down to the low. Look at that. Boom. One to one Fibonacci trend based extension. Absolutely wonderful to give you then the naked point of control. Remember, naked point of control on the one to one extension. You want to see another wonderful level of confluence that we have right here? Well, I'm going to blow your minds. And that is the range value area high from last year. This is our year long range back from May 2022. Well, look at that. When you pull the fixed range, look at that value area high on that one to one extension, on that naked point of control. So we're talking about very higher term time frame levels from a year ago onto more local levels, onto naked point of controls, onto one to one extensions. You had it all going on right there. And after you formed that rejection, you did have a valid short trade. So, yes, I took a loss trying to short the SFB. But if you remain patient and you followed along with my call, that could have given you a 50 percent win rate with a first small loss with a secondary big win as we got all that, you know, that rejection over a thousand dollars to the downside, right? In terms of percentage, you're talking about over 5% move from entry to the low there. From this low, we got another rise to the upside, right? And this is where I'm going to talk you through the second and last trade here before we move on to what is happening right now, why we're bouncing from here and what we're looking at next. So very briefly, I'm going to talk you through this trade, which again, actually includes a winning and a losing trade always keeping it honest. I'm always keeping it real for you. Did take another loss yesterday. And that was because I was going for a CCV setup. I obviously posted this on Twitter before the move played out. So that was, you know, you can't say I didn't help you for free sometimes. And we had that $27,343 for the CCV target. Let's add that on together so we can see the magic target that we were going for. So when we actually add on this CCV target, 27,343, 27,343, that's the target that we're going for, right? So we had a few different setups here. First was acceptance below the previous day value area high. If you don't understand anything I'm talking about, get your hair, get yourself over to chartchampions.com. Just do yourself a favor. Listen to all of the educational videos I have. We have the whole course explaining all of this in so much detail. It will be the best thing you do. So <laughs> for those that do understand, I had a CCV setup, which was acceptance below the previous day value area low. Uh, right, previous day value area high. Target the previous day value area low. Okay. So the alternatives, if we don't get that acceptance, we're looking for that move up to around the daily, which was also in confluence with the CC Fibonacci level. So we had the Fibonacci going on here. We had some liquidity and we had the daily. So how did I actually lose a trade, which we can see now come down and hit target perfectly after rejecting, rejecting from the top of that CC Fibonacci level? As we can all see, if you've been following on Twitter, we came into that and we got you know, we actually came down to target perfectly. So how did I lose the first trade? Right. I actually lost it because I took a short as we got acceptance below the previous day value area high. So I'm thinking to myself, OK, I've got my target here. Twenty seven, three, four, three. I'm going to be going into this target. OK, I've got my target and I had two setups again, very similar to how I had two setups off of this. The first one was an SFP of this eye that got stopped out the second trade you know, ended in a very big winner. Same, so very similar to what we had going on here as well. So I had two short trade setups. The first was acceptance below previous day very high. Second is into the CC daily liquidity zone. OK, that first trade setup, of course, lost as we got acceptance and then we got to move up. So that first trade ended in a losing trade. Second trade ended in a winning trade. So it's just not myself. But you can see other champions here who are able to oh shout out to natural gas long there on big S, by the way. <laughs> you can see other champions getting into that short trade here. You know, it's very nice. And, you know, what was pretty outstanding, you have to admit, is that top of the CC, by the way, was the exact dollar high. The target gave the exact dollar low. Uh, so you can see here, uh, nailed the short to the exact dollar. Another guy taking those short trades. Another great setup from myself to the CC Fibonacci on the daily level. Profits are taken at the CCV target and now stop loss to entry. Thank you ever so much. And I say that once more. Thank you ever so much to the market. As then we got that rise into the CC, we got the rejection back down. And that is how you can go from timing the high to timing the low to the exact dollar. That is everything that I wanted to talk you through. And now, as we can see behind the context, just just uh, let's just appreciate that for a second off of the one minute chart, shall we? Off of the one minute chart. Can we just appreciate this? Slightly front running the CCV target. Bam. Onto the CCV target. Bam. Third touch setup. And there is 
the move to the upside. That is uh, uh, all I can say is a, a target holding a support. So, you know, I love to see that. I love to see that. So uh, what are we looking at next in the Bitcoin chart? Of course, we have the context now of why we rejected from this high. OK, that was based off of the naked point of control. Why we rejected off of this high? Well, that was into the CC Fibonacci level and why we actually even put in this exact low. And that was because we hit the CCV target. So what are we looking at next? Before I say that, I got a few important things that I'd actually like to go through. This is going to make the video slightly longer, but stay with me. It's going to be beneficial for you. Uh, the first thing that I'd like to talk you through is this, you know, fading twice. I've, I've told you, you know, I've taught you through four trades, two losses, two wins. But you know what? Failing twice does not make you a failure. So I was talking to my team through this uh, three days ago. And remember that trading is a game of probabilities. We will never get every call or trade correct. Although there are traders out there that would like to make you believe that that is possible, that they do this. I'm telling you, it's a scam. They are very likely going to be scamming you because it's not actually possible. Sorry to break your hearts. It's not possible. And, you know, what we're teaching you here is the real gritty real side of trading. It's not easy. It is going to take time. It's going to take focus and discipline, but you are going to make it, you know, just, just got to go through, you know, even if you're taking, like I say here, even if you take five trades in a loss in a row, doesn't mean your system is broken if you're still hitting a decent win rate. OK, so I've given some tips here, which I will just leave and you can pause the screen if you'd like to read through this. But, you know, if, if you go on a large losing streak and you're not getting that win rate, what I'd recommend is you head over to the trading help form and you've got tw you've got trading assistant who is here 24 seven to come in here, look at your questions, answer your questions and give you some real good trading help. So trading assistant is what I recommend. The rest of you, I reckon pause the screen, read through this and, you know, look at some general tips here. But yeah, failing twice doesn't make you a failure. This is trading. This is the real world. We're not getting 100 percent win rates. Nobody is. OK, what we're after is good profits in the long term. That's what we're here for. That is what Chart Champions does. So uh, the na na next uh, announcement that I'd like to give is a reminder for you. all. of course, you saw some lovely money shots here from a collection of Femex. Bybit we've got going on in here, uh, Bing X and all of that. With These are the new latest deals that we have. We have you Femex deals. We have you. If you want VPN, a VPN, we got Bybit deals. We got the Bing X deals. So if you want to win an iPhone and get some uh, 5,000 deposit bonuses, 30,000 deposit bonuses, if you need a VPN, you got all of that over here on the Chart Champions website, which I'll just remind you is found over via the deals page. These are the best exchange deposit deals that are available in the market right now. We've got them for you. So if you would like to take advantage of that, you know how to do it. It's over on Chart Champions. <laughs> uh, finally, what I want to actually end in here talking about is something a little bit off the charts. Uh, so, you know, you can fast forward through this if you're not that interested and you just want to know what's happening next. But I want to spend a few minutes talking about this. And that is... Um, you know, I've been uploading some new videos recently, right? I've been uploading a lot of things on, on Instagram, on TikTok, etc. And, um, you know, I've had some had some nice comments and feedback from this. And uh, a lot of people have been saying recently that I seem a different man that I've, you know, that I've changed in a positive way. And I honestly uh, say thank you for that, that you can notice because I genuinely have tried very hard this year to improve myself as a person. And you know, how have I gone about this? Very briefly, I've made a lot of integral changes to myself and how I view the world and how I interact. Um, you know, a few things here off of, the, off of the list that I could go into a whole video from. But one thing was giving up alcohol totally. Not sure how many of you were around in 2021, 2022, but I started to get into, you know, a pretty bad. Um, I was out partying quite a lot and drinking a lot. And it really... It wasn't helping myself in terms of trading. It wasn't helping myself in terms of, you know, actually living a happy life, to be honest. So giving up alcohol, giving up that sort of like partying vibe really helped greatly myself. And also finding a long term girlfriend that I truly want to spend the rest of my life with. I would say alcohol, again, people can do what they want, but that for me was not helping myself. And then finding a girlfriend, you know, once you've actually got someone there that's able to support you, love you, it really gives you a new breath of fresh air and motivation into your life. So obviously you've got to pick wisely, but if you can, then it really is a very great help. So, you know, if you're interested in this of how I went from, you know, just even a year ago, you know, kind of 
going down the wrong path to how in one year later I've changed myself around, changed, you know, my friendship groups, the people I work with, uh, my life, my attitudes, my, you know, the way I'm approaching my daily routines. Uh, if you'd like to hear that, and of course, that's what I'm going to be uploading more now. Some kind of motivational, inspirational, talking about life trading in general over on TikTok, uh, over on Instagram. I'll have some posts, but, you know, TikTok, I'm going to be posting here, you know, those sort of how to find, you know, that daily core messages that I'm going to be sharing. I obviously had this Twitter uh, from a lot of people. They don't want to use TikTok. <laughs> so if you don't want to use TikTok, I might upload them also to the CC pool channel, which is our secondary YouTube channel, by the way. So you can hit subscribe over there. Uh, but yeah, if you're interested in that type of content, be sure to check out our second YouTube channel. Give us a follow on Chart Champions via Instagram slash uh, TikTok. Make sure you spell it correctly because there's a lot of scammers out there. Uh, but yeah, if you want to get in on that, you know where to get it. It'll be over on Instagram. It'll be over on TikTok, TikTok and maybe on the secondary channel CC Paul over on YouTube. So I'll leave all of that in the description down below the comments uh, so you can get involved on the latest deals and the other social medias that we have. So that's enough talking about that. But, uh, you know, for me, that was something that I really wanted. Uh, I, I feel that I can... Well, I, I feel that it's an important message for myself. And so if I can share that to the world and, you know, maybe even help one person, it's it's worthwhile and I enjoy doing it. So uh, yeah, I hope that I truly hope that I can help someone out with that. But helping you out with the trades, that's what you're here for primarily. So let's get back to that. And we all know now we rejected from here. We bounced from the CCV target. So actually what we've got now is we are in the middle of what I call inefficiency. We're in the middle of like single prints. So this is if you're approaching a trade in the middle of the single prints right now, you're not really having any great probabilities because what I trade is high probability trades. So if I'm getting a rejection from a level which has three levels of confluence, you know, I'm very happy with that trade setup. Again, the next trade setup that we had, we had going on three levels of confluence, liquidity, daily, CC, CCV set up four. So you can see from the few shorts that we've taken, three strong levels of confluence. You're talking about four levels of confluence off of the CC zone. So we take high probability trades where there's lots of confluence here right now. Do you even see a level marked on my chart? No, we do have the single prints, but what is this leaving us with? Instead of trading a probability, you know, pushing on 80, 90% probabilities, we're looking at a 50, 50 here. We all know the market can go up, the market can go down, the market can go sideways. So why would I put myself in a position to trade where I've not got a high probability where the market can do anything from here? I want to rephrase that. The market can do anything at any time. But we trade with high probabilities where we have actionable trade setups. I do not have one here. So my actual you know, tip right now is, is to wait patiently for the next trade setup to present ourselves. So if we hide this CC, because that's now out of play, the CCV target is now also played out. So what we're going to be looking at next is the next key levels that we have on our chart. Again, okay, that would actually be waiting for a subsequent rise to the upside. If you notice here, we are printing these higher lows. So we are in a series right now of higher lows locally. So if we're looking for continuation to the upside, we're going to be looking for this push back above $28,000. I do not think these are strong levels, by the way. And I do foresee if we break up here, you know, 29,400, 30,400 are very achievable levels. If we break above 28K once more, I, I, I do feel that we can be pushing towards 29,400, 30,400 doesn't mean I would long right now because once again, I've mentioned I don't have a long trade set up to take right now at this very second. I don't have one. So I would have to remain patient for higher prices if I want to take that short trade. And if I want to take a long because I wouldn't long or short where we are right now, I short when we get rises in price. I long when we get lows. Why is that? Because the majority of people when we get rises get bullish and look for longs. I'm looking for the short. Again, when we hit that CCV target, guess what? You got a lot of people bearish, but that is, of course, a it's got long opportunity off the reversal of the CCV target. So we look for longs on drops, shorts on rises. So my shorts are going to be, you know, I'd love to see that up at 29,400, right? We have a few levels to be aware of where I'm happily trade the reaction if we get one. So that would be my short areas. The longs, I'd actually be loving to see a breakdown to, you know, 26,500 around the monthly naked point of control. I feel this is where we got some nice confluence going on. 
Um, you know, my, my tip is one that I think a lot of people struggle with, and that is a bit of patience. I think a lot of people really struggle, you know, for me to come in here and say, we don't actually have a trade setup right now. We've had a few, you know, this week we've had two good trade setups, right? And I've, I've talked you through them. The rest of the days I've not been trading because there's not been a trade to take. And very well, Friday here might not take another trade today. If we just hover around here in these single prints, I'm probably not going to take a trade. I'll happily approach the weekends, you know, with a take a break, take some time off, wait for one of my alerts to hit and then get back into the trades. I think that's uh, something that a lot of people struggle with. Uh, they, they struggle with taking a break. <laughs> they also just struggle with patience. If there's not a trade, don't force one. Wait for the highest probabilities. Again, that is down at <laughs> below $27,000 and it is above really $29,000. So you've got a bit of a, a, a wait now for a very high probability trade setup. But I will happily wait for that. I don't have anything else internally here. We've rejected from the CC. We've hit the CCV target. I don't have anything internally now that I want to jump at. Of course, if you've followed along today, you have another CCV setup, by the way. But the reason why I haven't talked through this too much is this is already in play. So this is a, a setup that you've already got going on like right now. So this is something that you can see, though. You've got the acceptance once more, right? So, um, but, you know, as we speak right here, don't really have anything. So I'm remaining patient for a move back down below 27K to around the NPOCs down here at 26,000, or I'll be waiting for 29,000. Again, we do have sub levels here and here. These are levels which are reactionary lower term time frame trades only. They are not the strongest levels in the world. But if we do get some sort of lower term time frame reaction and trade entry, well, the first and only place you're really going to know about that is going to be inside of the group. So I'll tell you if you get a valid short or long trade entry off of those levels. But the bigger levels I've just taught you through, which I will be waiting for for swing trade setups. My friends, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've taught you through some winners. I've taught you through some losers. I've taught you through how you got to remain sticking to your plans. Trading is a game of probabilities, but we only trade the highest and you know best trade setups. If you struggle to find those trade setups, if you struggle to understand technical analysis, head over to Chart Champions right now. This is going to be the best place to learn everything about trading. Whether you're actually trading Forex, whether you're trading the stock market ES, whether you're trading cryptocurrency, whether you're trading, you know, altcoins only, you've got everything needed inside of the course. On top of that course, we have a course, <laughs> like the pub. we have live trading, altcoin streams, trade recaps, everything that you need to be successful. The trade journal. We've also got our inbuilt trading competitions. So you've got everything right now in a one-stop shop, a one you know, one-stop shop platform. It is everything that you need. It's something I'm extremely proud of. Uh, we have created the best traders. We have uh, been the longest running cryptocurrency educational group. And, uh, you know, we outperform the market on, on, on the regular. So, you know, whether you, you know, want to follow along the analysis, if you want to become a successful trader, you know where to head over to Chart Champions. It will be an absolute pleasure of mine uh, to help you on your trading journey. So thank you ever so much. I'll leave the comments down in the description below so you can check out this type of note forget no uh, inspirational type uh, real life content of mine if that's of interest and I'm going to wrap it there I'm going to say thank you ever so much a pleasure as always love you all and that's me signing out cheers everybody have a good weekend love you and goodbye